Hey guys, uh, welcome to my first video, welcome to my channel. So, I recently bought my first car, it is Audi A6 2014. And uh, in the Japanese market, we don't have efficiency mode from factory. We have only comfort, auto, dynamic, and individual. Let me start screen recording on my phone. So, today I'm going to show you how you can do it with uh, OBD11 absolutely for free. If you know, let me open uh, OBD11, you will see it on your screen. If I go to Garage, this is my car, I can go to Apps, and using Credits, I can do it, of course, uh, right here, Additional Modes uh, in Drive Select. Of course, I can do it here for like 10 credits and pay some money, in my situation it's 500 yen or so, so it's not very expensive. But uh, based on the forum, I'm gonna put link in the description, other modes except efficiency are like basically useless. Like race mode or... Mm, how do you call it? Off-road mode with my regular car, it's like useless, basically. Uh, and I don't want to pay the money for that and how are you gonna do it? So first of all, uh, the video will be like full without cuts, so you can see like whole process. First of all, you're gonna take your OBD11 and put it in a OBD port plugin. So let me plug in. Okay, done. Uh, next uh, on the app, I'm gonna go to home page and press connect. Choose OBD11 and wait. I will zoom here so you can see how it's going to change. Okay, detecting vehicle, written control units. It's absolutely free. It's actually the same method that you can do on uh, VCDS, via VCDS. But VCDS costs much more money, requires PC and Actually, OBD11 can do the same, basically. I actually did it today and did it without any problem. And now I put like everything in stock to show you. So, okay, we are here. Now you're going to press this little icon on the right downside and choose central electrics. Don't see that. Uh, don't mind my faults. It's just air conditioning unit. So you press it, go to, it's so long, sometimes uh, OBD11 is very, very slow, so it needs to read everything. Okay, we are here. You go to unit called Central Electrics, let me check, it's unit number 9. You go to Central Electrics, then you... Like in my situation, I'm gonna clear faults because it's just a pressure sensor. Then you go to security access. It will uh, suggest you three logins. You need to choose 20113. Enter. Success. Wonderful. Then you go to adaptation and choose channel 66. If you're a fan of Star Wars, it is the same as Order 66. And press Done. Nice. Here you have value. This situation, from the stock, in my situation, you're going to have 15. Uh, it's a good idea to remember your like stock value if you want to come back to the stock value. You can do it later without any problem. You press the pencil, so edit, delete, and type 47. And please look on the screen as soon as I press test. Boom. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I was a little scared that uh, there, was, there was no uh, font there. Uh, so... But uh, don't rush to back up, just push it down, and on the bottom you can see it slide to right. Let's slide it, 
adaptation, writing, success. Wonderful, right? Okay, uh, let's uh, start the vehicle. So I uh, show you that on a instrument cluster, you will see uh, new gear. Okay, we are here. And uh, as you can see, now we have P. And for example, let me choose, uh, let's start with comfort mode. Okay, so now we are in the comfort mode, so regular uh, comfort mode. And if I go to D gear, drive, it says D1, as you can see, right? But uh, if I'm gonna choose efficiency, it immediately changed to E1. So now we are in a efficiency mode, right? Yes, something like this. Yeah. And uh, if you want to put it everything in a stock, right? Uh, ignition on. No, come back. Let's put back the ignition. Okay, ignition on. Okay, if you want to come back to stock value, you just go to units, uh, choose your number nine central electrics, go to security access, 220113, enter, down, adaptation, channel 66, value, 15, test, boom, no more efficiency mode, uh, but I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to save it, because I want to use the efficiency mode and I'm going to drive like that, but you, if you want, you can of course uh, put it back in a stock whenever you want, and uh, base, base on the forum, that uh, I'm gonna put the link uh, on the description. This is really working. <laughs> Not a lot, but 15, 20% plus to mileage is actually uh, very nice. In my opinion, uh, it, can, it can save you a lot of money. And even if you like use it for like one year, you're gonna save enough money like to the price of OBD11. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was useful for you. And in the description will be all like actions, step-by-step -step guide, if you don't want to watch a full video. Okay, bye.